Uncle Fooge, man. I what about him? I haven't heard. He died. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah, eighty-two. He was. Just recently. Right. Yeah, like it was day before yesterday. Uh, come to my room. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, I'll tell this story real quick. <laughs> I used to uh, go and hit hit Mr. Fuji up sometimes for uh, for pills or something, and uh, and he'd always say, uh -huh, "You come in my room, boy, son." <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he never said no. Never. He was like, come to my room. And uh, you know, you remember when I first came came in the company, and uh, I don't know if you remember, I used to carry Fuji's bags around for him, and all the boys used to make fun of me. I vaguely remember you first coming in the WWE. I think I was there, but yeah, go ahead. You think? Yeah, yeah but I mean, I, I was I wondering was... if you remembered me actually carrying Uncle's bags around. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did he make you do that? No, I just thought it was the right thing to do. It was. Be with you. It you know, was. And it was. It was just how I was taught. Yeah. Yeah, it so. was. Anybody go... who knows anything had no problem with that. Can we go back to the fact that Uncle Fuji at like 60 has pills and is like, like he's the dispensary? No, he wasn't, but I, I would just, he was, I was just always I'll on the hunt. group of guys, you know. Yeah, I was always on the hunt and, you know, he, he might have been that old, but he was still on the road full time. So he, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. And that was a different time. You know? Yeah, it was a different time. Yeah. It was, you know, it was it was okay. Like there, nobody cared. The office didn't care. Nobody cared. You know, so n nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah. No nowadays, they're dropping to the wellness policy right and left. Yep. Well, I mean.